Hey guys, I just thought I'd sit here and talk a little bit and crochet. I'm working on an Easter Bunny flag by Heidi Yates. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I was sitting here watching YouTube videos, but I just thought I'd film a little bit just to try to do a crochet with me type of video and just talk. And I don't know how well it's going to work out with me talking and crocheting because I normally am either watching videos or just have Jesse running around so I don't really have too much of a distraction. So, we shall see. <laughs> but yeah, I was just sitting here watching videos and I'm actually watching um, Heather at Painted World Fiber Arts, her last Friday video. Which I guess was last Friday, so I'm not exactly sure. I have so many videos I'm going to watch later, it takes me forever to get caught up. <laughs> but, um, so I guess I'll talk about my weekend. We had planned to go to Gatlinburg Saturday to go to the aquarium and a couple other, uh, like Ripley, um, attractions because the, all the Ripley attractions were on a Tennessee discount. So the aquarium was $10 a person to get in, which it's normally twenty nine ninety five or something like that. And all the other there's like five other Ripley themed attractions or Ripley owned that are were five dollars. So we went, we left, uh me, Devin and Jesse got up at six, got ready, went and got my mom and stepdad and by the time we were leaving our town it was almost seven o'clock in the morning. Saturday morning. Oh, you're repositioned. And um, we stopped and we got uh, we got gas the night before so we wouldn't have to stop and then we ended up having to stop anyways to get ice for our cooler and breakfast biscuits. And um, I know this bitch. So we headed up to Gatlinburg which if you don't know where that's at it's really close to Knoxville, Tennessee which is about almost three hours. I think the GPS said it was like two hours and fifty something minutes from where we live. Pretty much east. You pretty much hit the interstate and drive on it for two hours. Two and a half hours and then exit and drive a little bit more and there you are. We we got there um, well first in the car Jesse inverted the nipple of his bottle at least four times and spilled milk, chocolate milk, water and juice on him. And his car seat so his pants we brought three pairs of outfits for him because he he's a toddler <laughs> and by the time we got to Gatlinburg he was in his last pair already <laughs> and, um, he kind of was fitty the whole way you know he's not used to really long car rides I think the longest we've taken him before was uh, about to Nashville and that's that's just a little over an hour from us we live in Middle Tennessee by the way um, Kind of like the south part of Middle Tennessee. But, um, so we finally got to Gatlin. Well, we finally got to Sevier County. And uh, there were multiple detours, first of all, because there's a lot of um, construction zones, which is fine. But then when we started going into Gatlinburg from uh, the parkway, uh, it was so backed up. Like, I mean, if you've been there before, the road is only like a five or t five or six minute drive from Pigeon Forge to Gatlinburg. It's like a curvy, you know, like a river road. Really pretty. But there was so much traffic, and I, w I thought that there was probably construction ahead of us, but by the time we got to the front, we realized it wasn't construction, it was just a lot of traffic. And I guess it was because of the Tennessee deal, all kinds of, you know, people like us were there to get the deals. And it took probably 45 minutes to an hour just to get into Gatlinburg and then when we got there the aquarium parking garage was full capacity so we went and we parked at a pay park a little bit down the way from it you know everything in Gatlinburg is close to each other it's you know it's a little strip so we parked and when we got to the aquarium the line the ticket booth line there were two lines. There was regular people line and then there was the ramp line, which would be, you know, handicapped people, wheelchairs, um, elderly people, people with strollers, which was us, all the people like that. And we were zigzagging up to there. But there were so many people. There was probably 250 to 300 people standing in line just to get into the aquarium. 
it was crazy. We stood there for like 20 minutes and then we just decided to not even go into the crayon because it was so packed outside and we knew it would be so packed inside. I got my pattern pulled up here on the laptop. <laughs> um, let's see, I got to decrease. Oh gosh, I may not be able to do this and talk, but <laughs> so we left the aquarium. We went to the candy store that we always go to. See all the candy? You want some? What do you want? What do you want? You want some candy? Which is, um, I love it. And we always go to it, but I never can remember the name of it. Old, Old Smoky Candy Kitchen or something like that. It's just our favorite candy store. It's right at the village in Gallenberg, if you know what that is. Uh, the village is a little shopping area. It's really pretty. I always think it looks like, like a European like back alley shop or something. It's just so pretty the, the way it's done. It's like all stone and stuff. And um, so we got some candy there. I usually get their taffy. They make all their candy and stuff there in the building. But this time I got a little box of caramels and Devin got some kind of. It's like chocolate covered pecans or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. And then we got Jesse a chocolate sucker that was in the shape of a bear. My mom got some stuff out. Exactly. Well, I know she got a candy apple, but or a caramel apple. And some caramels and something else. Fudge, I think. But um, we walked up and down the strip a little bit. And then we went to the Ripley's Mirror Maze, which is awesome. What is this, Bubba? Whoa. Wow. You see the lights? It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Is it fun? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We've been to it before, so we went to it again. Jesse liked it. I was afraid he'd be scared of it, but he he liked it. Guinness World Book of Records, whatever it is. I thought, I had thought that it was a museum, but it wasn't a museum. It was like, it had a few like museum -y type things in the top, and then you go downstairs, and there's like a huge basement, it's a ginormous, huge basement full of all kinds of the different records that are being held, and then you like compete with other people to break their records. You know, not the, the Guinness Book records, but like other visitors' records. Which would be really fun, except we had Jesse with us. But I can imagine if me and Devin had went there ourselves, we would have spent hours in there just um, competing with each other. Jesse did have fun, though. We let him do some of the things, and him and Devin played like a basketball hoop, one of those hoop like arcade games. And Devin played it, and Jesse just tried to throw the ball up there, but he couldn't get up there. And my mom and stepdad, they seemed to have fun. It was really hot in there, though. It's like they didn't have it air conditioned at all. And when we were there, there was probably like maybe 30 or 40 more people down there playing it too. But it seemed like a lot of fun. I think if me and Devin go back to Gatlinburg anytime soon, we will definitely um, check it out ourselves and probably spend a lot of time down there. But yeah, we left there. There really wasn't much else we wanted to do. It was really cold there because they're, they're higher elevation than us. And... Um, it was sunny, but you know, you're on the strip and you're shaded by all the buildings. So it was pretty cold in the shade. So we got back in the car and it took about <laughs> about 30 minutes to go a mile out of Gallon, you know, out of the actual strip. And then once we got to the, the river road area, and the exiting side was a lot less congested than the entering, entering side. <laughs> So we got out of Gatlinburg really quick and then I went ahead and drove down the parkway because my mom had never been to Gatlinburg and I, we showed her all the like the Titanic Museum and all that. And I really wanted to go to the Titanic Museum but um, 
I didn't know if they were prepared to go to spend more money, you know. I didn't want to ask and be rude and be like, you know, how much money you have. But um, if it had just been me and Devin, I would have definitely went to the Titanic Museum because I love it. And uh, we showed her all the putt-putt golfs and the ones that we've been to and stuff. And you know, she had a lot of fun just looking at all the stuff. And we told her that to be prepared to see a ton of pancake houses because they are everywhere there. Like every other store is a pancake house. And uh, it was fun. And then we, we drove home. <laughs> or we started driving home. For some reason, GPS took us a back way. It seemed like it took us way out of the way. And um, we were like on personal streets, you know, not meant for the tourists to be on. And then we ended up in this some little outskirts of Knoxville town. And uh, we stopped at a Hardee's there to get some lunch because we were hungry. And it was like the wrong place. We should have stopped somewhere else because we stopped there and they only had two employees in the whole building. Make sure I'm getting that right. Okay. And so first it took about 30 minutes just standing in line. We should have left. I don't know why we stayed. <laughs> but um, I was already really aggravated for driving so much and not getting to do what I wanted to do, which was go to the aquarium. I wanted to take Jesse, but... Um, I think we're just going to take him again to the Chattanooga one soon and we're going to be getting the membership there really soon anyways for his birthday but anyways back to Hardy's we, it took like 30 minutes just to get our order in and then you know my mom and Roger and then me and Devin were separate orders and they put theirs in first so they got their food finally after like 15 more minutes waiting and then 20 or 10 more minutes after they got their food we finally got ours it's just very annoying. I think if they only have two employees working, they need to not open. It seems like they should have more because there were more people coming in having to wait forever and plus the drive through was still open. But we finally ate and headed home. I'm trying to remember what time it was when we got home. Let's see here. We drove, we drove home and I took Mom and Roger home and then we went to Devin's dad's because he wanted to watch Jesse. It was about it was about 5:30 by the time we finally made it to Devin's dad's house, and um, dropped off Jesse and we hung out there for a little bit, and then we went home <laughs> here, just us two. I don't remember what we ate. I can't remember what we ate that night because we we didn't want to go out and get nothing. We were just we wanted to be home, so we ate and hung out. I went to bed at like 9:45. And I slept for 10 hours. I didn't get back up until almost 8 the next morning. Which I think was good. I needed to sleep. Because <laughs> the night before, you know, we were set to get up at 6. But Jesse slept bad that night because he, he always sleeps bad when we got to do something the next day. And uh, I only got about three and a half hours of sleep. So I was tired by the time we got home. And then Sunday. What did we do Sunday? Devin's dad brought Jesse home pretty early Sunday, about 11 a.m. I think, because he was going to go ride his motorcycle since it was probably a pretty day. And uh, y'all can't even see me crocheting, <laughs> but I am sitting here crocheting. <laughs> um, Jesse's napping, by the way. He'll probably wake up any minute because it's been about an hour. Maybe he'll sleep. Um, let's see, what was that one? Jesse came home. We. We, went, we had to go to Walmart to get some food stuff, um, and then we came home and hung out for a little while, and then Devin decided he wanted to get the car washed and clean out the inside of it real good, so we went back to Devin's dad's, and me and Jesse just walked around and played outside, and he jumped on the trampoline and played in the yard and played with his little kitty pool that's full of water and leaves. Played all kinds of little toys that was laying around while Devin washed the car and cleaned the windows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Jump! Hey Jesse, I really don't want you sticking that up your nose or getting it in your ear. Oh! Jump, Bubba! Yeah. I to see what Rock said and uh, ended up with uh, nice paw. Mm, here. Jump! Mama, we need a treehouse. I need 
No. Just jump in it. Don't use your hands. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. <laughs> he fell and rolled and laughed. Bubba. It was a lot of fun. We were over there for a couple of hours. By the time we left there, it was getting dark. So we went to Sonic and got some milkshakes and some mozzarella sticks. Came back home and ate them together, all three of us, and and uh, watched TV up until Jesse got sleepy. Can't even remember what time I went to bed. It's crazy how you forget stuff that happened just literally right, you know. Oops, I did that backwards. So um, I went to bed around nine again last night. I think maybe maybe closer to ten. I'm not sure. Jesse slept fairly good last night. <laughs> This is my, so far it looks like underwear. <laughs> it's the bunnies. Like chin, I think. Like his mouth and chin. But it looks like a pair of underwear. It's not underwear. It's white. I don't know how bad it's blown out, but it is white. <laughs> I'm making this to hang right there. A white one with like pink. Oh, it's, it's in the bag behind y'all. A pink, a pink ears and nose, and then like a multicolor bow tie and then I'm thinking about right here on this wall I'm thinking if I have enough time which I probably will because this is working out really fast all of her flag patterns work out very quickly I want to make like a brown or gray one to put right here but uh yeah let me see I decrease a lot two more times <laughs> uh yeah and then today's Monday didn't do much today already uh we got up and we had to run to the bank to deposit some money in it and then, then we went to the dollar store and got some milk before Devin went to work. We came home. We all sat here and ate sandwiches and chips and watched Jesse watched Blippi while me and Devin watched Bates Motel. I'm on season four. Um, there's only one more season left of the whole show and then it ends. So I'm wanting to try to binge watch it. I'm probably gonna watch a bunch more later once Jesse wakes up. I sat on the on the love seater over there and watched on the laptop while he watches his show on the big TV. I went ahead and made some taco meat for tonight just because I had the meat thawed out and I didn't want it just sitting around in the fridge. So I went ahead and um, fried it, I guess you could call it, and seasoned it and all that so it's just sitting in there cooling off so that I could put it in a container to put in the refrigerator to eat tacos for dinner. I think I'm going to make chicken and dumplings tomorrow, so I might go ahead and make boil the chicken today so I can have it shredded in the refrigerator ready for tomorrow. I love chicken and dumplings. That is my most favorite meal. I could eat it probably like three times a week and never get tired of it. I love it. When I have a big pot of it in there, I eat it for every meal until it's gone. <laughs> the more dumplings, the happier I am. It's so good. I love chicken and dumplings. It's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> and yeah, I'm working on this bunny head. What? Leave me comments down below what are you guys working on today. Do you have any Easter projects on the go? I have two. I have this and I'm making a garland for that little area. And I don't need to hurry because St. Patrick's Day is in less than two weeks. Maybe right at two weeks-ish. It's in two Saturdays from now. So I guess two weeks-ish. <laughs> and then two, about well, there's five weeks in this month, so about two and a half, three weeks later is Easter, right? April 1st is Easter, March, April, yeah. So I gotta get a roll on it. I'm only gonna be able to have my bunnies up for a few weeks, you know. And then after Easter, what's the next major holiday? I know Mother's Day is in May, and then June is Father's Day, and then July 4th. So I guess July 4th is the next major holiday. Um... I'll be making some July 4th stuff. I don't know what I can make for Mother's and Father's Day to decorate with. You know, anything flowery would be pretty for Mother's Day because flowers are always associated with it because people buy mom's flowers. <laughs> um, Father's Day, I don't even know. I would say ties, but Devin's not a tie wearing kind of guy. You know, he, he works in a factory, so he wears grease monkey outfits, is what we call them. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. <laughs> 
but um, and boots and stuff. So I guess I could maybe try to find. Let me put this in. Be cool to find like a flat paneling uh, pattern for like a pair of boots, or even maybe try to design one. But I don't know. I haven't tried to design anything. I look extremely pale, but I think it's just the lighting. But I am also really pale. Have you guys noticed that my hair has gotten really dark? And I don't dye it. I haven't dyed my hair in years. But I've noticed lately, and Devin even noticed it and said something about it, that my hair is getting like a darker color. I guess it's age. I am closing in on 30. I will be 28 on May 7th this year. But I'm okay with that. I hope when I get a lot older, all my hair turns white. I don't plan on dyeing it to, you know, look younger. I hope it turns white. I'd love to have long white hair. I think that would be so cool. Okay, let's see. I'm on my last decrease around on the bunny face. I hope I haven't messed it up. I'm not, I'm not really used to crocheting and talking. Still looks like underwear. Looks like some granny panties. I think I messed up a few stitches, but it's not bad. It's just wall art. No one will know but me. It's like that little guy's messed up a little bit, but nobody knows but me and Devin thinks I told him. <laughs> but if I'd never told him, he'd never know it. Yeah. I love working on Heidi Yates flag patterns. I wish she would make some more. <laughs> I wish she made them for like everything. I know it would probably be easy to design my own. Because they're very simple patterns. And there's still a few I haven't made. I need to make the watermelon one. The hippie van one, the cot one, the one with Santa's legs coming out of the chimney, and the elf one. I'll probably, I'll definitely make those two this year because I can hang one over there and one over here. Um, let's see here. I think there's a Halloween one. Yes, there is a Halloween one. It's like the sample scarf one. And there's also a uh, snowman one. I don't think I made that one. I don't even remember all the ones I made. I know I made the ladybug one and that one. <laughs> I think I have a Christmas one, but I can't. Oh, yeah, it's got the reindeers on it. That was the first one I made. So I've only made three, and this one will be the fourth one. I just love all of Heidi Yates patterns. They're so bright and colorful and easy. She designs them, and they're so easy to make. It's awesome. It's like Mary Smith. I love Mary Smith patterns. Let's see here. Single crochet decrease. Single crochet decrease. Alright, I just did all my decreasing. It's still underwear. <laughs> Let's see here. This is a paid for pattern, but y'all should totally check it out. It's cute. It's a bunny. Let me see if I can get it to pop up here. I'll see, I'm on row 19. I'm not planning on putting the flower on its face or the little bird hanging from it too. Oh, it's glary. There, you can kind of see it. So I'm gonna make the bow tie and the nose and the ear inner ear pieces, but I'm not gonna do the chick or the flower. I'm gonna make one white bunny, obviously, and one gray or one brown. I don't know, something, two of them. I don't know, it's been 21 minutes since we're sitting here. I don't know if this is an enjoyable type of video. I keep feeling like I should have this in the screen, but I don't know. I think it's just the whole point is just to be. Kind of like you're setting together crocheting, which I love doing. There's a lot of videos, like Heather's, for instance, that I was watching before I started doing this. Um, it's just like you're sitting in the room with a friend, you know, crocheting together and working. So it's, it's just entertaining and interesting. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I got a feeling Jesse's about to wake up and he's going to be hungry when he does. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the talk on meet up so it doesn't sit out and go bad. But uh, if you guys like this video, let me know and I might make some more. Try to get better angles. This was just kind of a spur of the moment. You can see some of the uh, table right here. But, um, or the windowsill. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.